So Liam, as the service providers invest in all the technologies just mentioned here and start to really deliver on this enhanced mobile broadband, massive IoT, ultra-reliable, low-latency communications, what's that going to open up in terms of the, the client side? How are they going to leverage all of that? Well, I think uh, first and foremost, as Kevin says, um, you know, we have deployed mobile broadband on our client devices for a number of years. I think the approach this time is really uh, to develop more of an engaged um, solutions approach with the carriers because it is go to market and what you can do there. We have spent a lot of time on the development of innovation uh, on the radio side as well as on the modem side into the devices. It's going to be interesting in the 5G space with all these new antennas in addition to the ones we already support. And uh, we have a great portfolio in place right now for 2019 on our 4G strategy and that's really going to position us very well for what we're going to do in 2020 uh, with 5G. Um, bandwidth is important. Uh, we also have an approach on the experience we want to deliver for customers on the client side. And that experience is always available, always ready, always connected. So when you think of that, it drives a whole series of, of innovation areas around battery life, around uh, security, around manageability of the device around uh, constant accessibility to your data in a secure way with the right policies based on where you're located. Uh, but also when you deliver that type of bandwidth to your device, you can do very interesting things from an analytics perspective, both from upload and download. So AI machine learning is a critical part of our strategy in 5G. Uh, when you look at emerging areas around AR and VR, and you think of the assets and capabilities of a 5G environment and infrastructure, I think that's very exciting of what we can do in that space. When you think of um, mobile gaming and online gaming and the capabilities, as Kevin says, around the low latency, high bandwidth, that's a great use case for that. If you look at other parts of our, our client portfolio around ruggedized platforms and first responders having the right capabilities and assets and features in those first responder ruggedized notebooks, enable with 5G to ensure that the right um, triage data is being uploaded in a very predictive QoS-based delivery system. And of course, working across Dell Technologies with our partners on the infrastructure side gives it a great opportunity to really look at this holistically and not just as a point product. And that's the exciting part of what we're doing as a team and, and our teams and the assets that we have in order to look at this holistically for our customers because we've got small and medium business medium business, enterprise, large enterprise. So um, it's, a, it's, it's an end-to-end -end approach versus just a point product. So that's the exciting part. Of course, from a client perspective, that starts at the edge and data is originates from the edge. And as Kevin said, driving the distributed architecture and the assets for analytics at mobile edge, uh, devices and platforms like we saw it here on the show, uh, floor with VRANs, and uh, that gives us the opportunity then to deliver great solutions. Yeah, and I'll, I'll actually look to, get to, to expand on that, Liam, if, if you're comfortable. You just laid out so many different use cases that are potential on 5G. If we look at when we built 4G networks, um, it wasn't a use case centric approach, right? right. It, we were entering really mainstream of the smartphone uh, and 4G networks were built for one purpose, mobile broadband. Right. And as such, you defined a very rigid architecture and a very rigid set of technologies that were capable of delivering on that one use case. Right. When we start to look at 5G, because there's just so many different types of use cases, and each of those use cases drive very different sets of requirements from an infrastructure perspective, it makes this working relationship across Dell Technologies very important. Uh, and I think you see that playing out in some of the technologies that we see from an industry perspective, things like network slicing, mm -hmm. where there's recognition that if I start to dedicate a set of a set and a pool of resources to particular applications that are well optimized for those applications, there's just efficiencies to be gained from thinking about it in that way. And I think you brought up a great point of what's different than 5G, because people say, well, what's different? It's not just 5 is bigger than 4, therefore it's better. It's now we can have a great conversation with our customers, and of course Dell is very focused on customer relationships, and now we can have a great relationship and a discussion with them on the digital transformation and how we, Dell Technologies, can provide the capabilities and the assets and the, and the IT solutions for their digital transformation. 5G is a great part of that journey, and it is a journey, by the way. 
versus just talking about the client in isolation. Now we have the fruitful discussion of the approach that we have. So that's the exciting part of 5G.